be partnering with my very good friend Lee Greenwood, who doesn't love his song God Bless the USA, in connection with promoting the God Bless the USA Bible. This Bible is the King James Version and also includes our founding father documents, yes, the Constitution, which I'm fighting for every single day very hard to keep Americans protected. Also, the Bill of Rights, the Declaration of Independence, and the Pledge of Allegiance are all part of this. God bless the USA Bible, and it's just very important and very important to me. I want to have a lot of people have it. You have to have it for your heart, for your soul. Many of you have never read them and don't know the liberties and rights you have as Americans and how you are being threatened to lose those rights. It's happening all the time. It's a very sad thing that's going on in our country, but we're going to get it turned around. Religion and Christianity are the biggest things missing from this country, and I truly believe that we need to bring them back, and we have to bring them back fast. I think it's one of the biggest problems we have. That's why our country is going haywire. We've lost religion in our country. All Americans need a Bible in their home, and I have many. It's my favorite book. It's a lot of people's favorite book. This Bible is a reminder that the biggest thing we have to bring back America and to make America great again is our religion. Religion is so important. It's so missing, but it's going to come back, and it's going to come back strong, just like our country is going to come back strong. In the end, we do not answer to bureaucrats in Washington. We answer to God in heaven. Christians are under siege. We must protect content that is pro-God. We love God, and we have to protect anything that is pro-God. We must defend God in the public square and not allow the media or the left-wing groups to silence, censor, or discriminate. All right, man, but I got to tell y'all something. So, um, in this Bible, new stories where um, Jesus don't turn the other cheek, a parable where Jesus tells the poor to pull themselves up by the bootstraps. You're lying. The Israelites benefit from slavery, and the USA wins over Russia and in, in not, the you're end lying. <laughs> <laughs> you see why you, I knew you was lying. Um, I was like, man, get out of here, man. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> so, uh, okay. I, I want you to go for it. <laughs> I want you to go for it. Man, there's so many reasons why this is just ridiculous. Um... <sighs> First thing I think about is just the whitewashing of Christianity. Um, I'm not here to say who's black, who's this and that, but just the whitewashing of Christianity yep. to the point of, you know, Jesus being painted in a certain skin tone. You look at the Moses movie, Charlton Heston playing these roles. You know, <laughs> it's just, you know, just the whitewashing. This, to me, it further just intensifies that. It's just like making it this all-American good old yeah. white man religion. Uh, when, for one, America has been anything but in a Christian country, the guy who's vouching for the Bible, holding that Bible in his hand, probably has <laughs> the poorest integrity and character of any man that we've ever had in the office. Um, then you want to throw the Constitution up, which he's probably broken every part of that. <laughs> he's playing, currently playing under. I'm, I'm trying to stop you, man. You're going on tour soon. <laughs> he, he's currently under investigation for all kind of stuff. You're going on tour soon. Like, I, I can go on for I, I can keep yeah. going on, but I don't want, you know. <laughs> All right, real quick, the core problem is you shouldn't add anything to the Bible. Um, I know Jeremiah, you have you have <laughs> something to say about that. <laughs> no, but you shouldn't no. add or take away anything from the Bible. To me, joining the Constitution, Bill of Rights, whatever, to the Bible as if it's equal or equivalent in any kind of way is ridiculous. Commentaries are different. Commentaries are there to <laughs> aid and and help you understand. It's not the same. Um, but I think. Just this whole idea that Christianity is an American religion is just wrong from the get go. <clears throat> so I, I just think it's is is a bad look. I know there's a lot of people making a lot of money turning themselves into Trump um, favorable shows. I'm not going to call anybody out. Um, and I know it's very lucrative because there's a lot of people, black and white, who yeah. like to see black people talk about Trump in a positive manner. <laughs> but this is not okay. This is not right. Mm -hmm. This guy is not doing the right thing. I understand there's a bigger, bigger battle that we're all fighting that, you know, we're afraid about, you know, people pushing uh, ungodly messages onto our kids. We're afraid of policies that are ungodly and, and, and dangerous um, um, to, to, you know, our way of life and all that. But this guy should not be the guy at the front of the movement 
of Christianity for anything Christian. <laughs> and to me, that is way more important to me than anything related to politics. Yeah. It's my stance. You guys believe whatever you want. <laughs> this is not okay. I understand some of you may not want to watch us again. <laughs> but that is what I think. So, so Beyonce check, <laughs> Donald Trump check. It's ridiculous. Bro. That's crazy, bro. I, I, I was watching that, and I, and that when I was editing the clip, I was like, <clears throat> "This may make people not want to come to be a Christian, and it may make some people want to come like Christian." But I've always been the, the thing about this. I'll say this, and I will move on to the next story. I've always been on the the thing about um, trying to make patriotic. Christianity, you know what I'm saying? Like, like Jesus love our country, and da, da, da. and it's like we. I think we've been told that whole lie all our lives that the founding fathers were Christian. They, it was almost like the founding fathers were Masons, man. They, they believed in multiple gods. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I think, I think you know, and I could see what the Ten Commandments is. You know, we 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 got some some stuff, some laws from a lot of laws from the yeah. Ten Commandments and stuff. But at the same time, man. Don't propagate the Bible, man. We don't want people to hate the word of God, man. We don't want people. And I get it. I, everything Sean said, I get. Like what you said, like, you know, we got to stand up against, you know, you know, laws and everything. And, and that's great. And, and also, we have to, you know, if you want to get into the law, if you want to be a councilman and you're a Christian and you know that's what you're trying to go there. And because you know that, you know, the enemy is bringing people in there to try to do stuff. That's that's cool. That's what God has called you to do. We have no problem with that. But I think at the same time, don't don't recognize our faith, man, because w w what's going to happen is if if somebody feels like you could be ministering to somebody, you can be right now borderline bringing somebody into the faith. And they talking to each other, and they like, yo, he represent what y'all represent, and you like, he's, uh, you know so, what I mean? So, and I, I'm just saying, at the end of the day, for anybody that <laughs> that that's a Christian that feels like, yo, we need to get Trump back in because of laws, then pray and and and, and make sure the Lord is okay with that, and, and mm -hmm. vice versa, whatever. But I'm just saying that um, the, these are the little foxes. You start letting these little things go. <laughs> I'm just saying there's there's a cancer in the body right now and it's it's on the liberal side and the conservative side. Yeah. And we keep in, we keep assuming that the other side is the evil ones. Yeah. And we don't look in the mirror and yeah. look at the plank in our own eye. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is a plank, guys. Yeah. Everybody getting played. This is not okay. Yeah. Um I'm not telling you who to vote for. I don't care. Um if you vote for Trump because you're afraid of certain policies being enacted and need things to to go a certain way, I, I'm I understand that 100 percent, 100 percent. But let's just not pretend that this guy is an example of what a Christian should be. Yeah. Just because he says he is. Yeah. There's people who pretend they care about black people's issues. Yeah. That don't care about black people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's people who pretend to care about Christians issues that aren't Christians. Yeah. Just be wise. That's what I'm I think bro a gangster for real. <laughs> I, I think he a gangster and he getting caught up in a whole bunch of stuff. So what better thing to do is come out with a Bible and try to act like you just the most godly man ever when you up for all kind of allegations. Like he trying to run for president again. You coming off of these schemes and money laundering and all this kind of stuff. Now I'm going to come out with the all American Bible because I'm a great Christian and I love God. It, it's just a hustler man. He a hustler. Bro. Dang. I know a hustler when I see one. <laughs> Let's just let's just say this, especially if you're um, a minority in our audience. There are people who are trying to motivate your behavior based on your skin color. Mm -hmm. There are also people trying to motivate your behavior based on your faith. Yep, I don't fool by be neither. wise. Be wise <laughs> both directions. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Hey, what's going on? I hope you like that video. Make sure you like and subscribe and make sure you support us on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Trackstars Universe. In the meantime, continue to watch our channel by clicking on this next video right now, right now.